Ward 4. Now, Ward 4 is an older adult rehabilitation um, ward. Um, I became Dementia Champion back in June of 2017, and um, as the Dementia Champion peer would know, you have to complete a couple of assessments to get your badge. Um, and my two assessments came about by focusing on creating a dementia-friendly environment for patients. Um, focus came from uh, completing the King's Fund Is Your Ward Dementia-Friendly Environmental Tool that was actually included as part of my training. Um, and then after completing that, I found that there was really three criteria um, that needed some attention on our board. The first was, does the environment um, encourage eating and drinking? Being a dietitian, that's very important for me. Um, and on board four, we're very lucky. So patients have their bedroom. We've also got a number of common areas for patients to sit. But we are very lucky to have a dining room um, that's shared between two separate boards. Um, however, the promotion of the dining room, especially if you're a visitor to Ward 4, is very low. You wouldn't know that there's a dining room unless you did a whole tour of the ward to find it, because it's very much at the back of the ward. The second area of focus was, does the environment promote mobility? Other points of interest, such as photographs or artwork. At the time of the audit, there was one section of the dining room that had some artwork, it was in one corner, but as I said, if you did your tour, you wouldn't know that there's artwork in the dining room. And then lastly, does the environment promote orientation? So with regards to signage um, and way binding. As mentioned, there wasn't much signage. Most of our walls on our walls are very cluttered with you know, signage and um, notice, notices of different things. Um, and once again, no sign to say we have a dining room or a garden um, as well. So I really set my goal around patient usage of these areas um, with a primary focus to orient patients to the areas that we had with a long-term goal of improving the aesthetics of the dining room with the outcome of improving the nutrition and hydration of patients with dementia. So when it came to actually designing the signs on the board, I had to consult a number of people. Um, so I got in contact with our clients WA, um, I included patients, um, and staff on the board as well for what they would like the science to look like, and they were all involved in the decision making process. So I knew I needed words and I needed pictures. I knew I needed contrasting colours, I needed directional arrows, um, I needed appropriate signs for infection control, I needed a matte finish to avoid lighting um, and light reflection, and they also needed to be large enough to be seen throughout the board. So in the beginning, I didn't know how I was going to pay for these. Um, I looked at a number of avenues before I actually um, decided to go with medical illustration to the Royal Perth Hospital. And there was a lot of drafting emails between the two of us, um, especially when it came to the direction of the arrows. We can see the bottom one. We've got the garden, the dining room, where we've got a gerbil on one end, and then there's arrows or plates. Doesn't really make sense. Um, I used uh, OTs on the board as well, and they said, yeah, too confusing. Don't go with that one. Um, and eventually we actually decided on two separate signs, one for a dining room, one for a garden. Mm -hmm. Then I had to consider placement. <laughs> um, I knew they had to be the height of 1.4 metres, as um, the guideline thought to state. Um, so what I did was I pretended to be a newly admitted patient on Ward 4. I went to every single patient room. I stood at the door and I looked out. And every wall I looked at, I stuck a sign. When I said I stuck a sign on every wall, I stuck a sign on every wall. <laughs> Don't you realize it's my um, photo ability? So here is a picture through a corridor, so you can see the signs, quite you know, bright signs as well. Every single wall. <laughs> Now, I thought, um, you know, once I put the signs up, I had some really immediate great feedback from family. So I would walk onto the ward and I'd hear, oh, there's a dining room here, we should come for lunch. Oh, there's a garden here, well, let's go out and we'll have, you know, a cup of tea out in the garden. My hopes were short lived. I used to go into the dining room at lunchtime, there'd be no one in there. And so I actually stood in the dining room, looked at it, and I thought, Mm, it's not really inviting, is it? 
Um, so this is what the dining room used to look like. Mm -hmm. White walls, mismatched furniture, very disorientated environment. So I knew that I couldn't do this by myself this time. I took this to attention of the um, Bentley Food Service Working Party to work on, and as a result, taking this to a multidisciplinary team of dietitians, nursing, OTs, um, speech pathology, catering. We now have a dining room with familiar furniture, artwork with familiar places in Perth, and a layout which is inviting and flows. In addition, we've also commenced 15 minutes prior to lunchtime a musical announcement and a verbal announcement to orientate patients to the time of the day and to say lunch is going to be served in the dining room in 15 minutes. This has been the number one culture change of our ward. All staff, physios, OTs, nursing staff are all involved in getting patients down to the dining room for lunch. Now we also use the dining room as an avenue of um, promotion of different times of the year. So this is um, Christmas time, beautifully decorated. Now as a result um, of the signage, of the announcements, um, we've actually seen a massive increase in our attendance. As I said, we had no attendance in the dining room at lunchtime. We actually reached up to 75%. On average, about 50% of patients in the dining room for lunch each day. In addition, I completed a waste audit, plate waste audit, um, and found that if patients ate in the dining room, they ate 90% of their meal compared to patients in their bedrooms, that only eat about 60%. Um, I also completed the same environmental audit tool once I completed all of this. I'm very proud to say that there's been so much great improvement that there are no identifiable areas for continued improvement of those specific criteria. So from the lunchtime announcements for orientation to the signage to encourage mobility and the aesthetically pleasing dining room, the work which has been completed by all staff and patients involved has seen a greater use in the dining room and the garden with additional outcomes of improved nutrition and hydration to support patient rehab on board Thank you.